Swedish voters have kicked their left-wing government out of office after a surge in gang-related gun crime and uncontrolled immigration. The country is now set to be governed by a coalition of centre-right parties, including ominously Sweden Democrats, a party who one in five voters opted for, a party that emerged from a 90s neo-Nazi movement. There's an election in Italy in a week's time where the same things predicted to happen. The same issues over violent crime and immigration echo around every other affluent European democracy. Just as America elected Trump and is likely to do so again, countries across the West are using their vote to fight against the sinister tide of globalist WEF identity obsessed communism. The mess of uncontrolled immigration and cities overrun by violent crime is obviously a product of the censorious nature of an increasingly egotistical and pompous centre-left. The West is, as we all know, afflicted with a preponderance of haughty champagne socialists and sanctimonious woke metropolitan faux liberals who've spent years now shutting down debate around these subjects. Every day we read reports of knife crime in London about young men wielding machetes, but scour these articles and you'll find absolutely no details of who these men are or where they come from. The potential cost of revealing such data, having their publications smeared as racist and xenophobic, is a price none of these news outlets are prepared to pay. But the public can read between the lines, as they have done in Sweden. The population of Sweden is only 10 million, and yet staggeringly, between 2017 and 2018, during the conflict in Syria, roughly 180,000 immigrants were given a home in the country. The Swedish people weren't given a choice in this, and no regard whatsoever was given to the social impact it would have. And now we're seeing the consequences. In a world where the hard left identity obsessed lunatics have the power to misrepresent the words of their ideological opponents, smear them as racists or sexists or homophobes or transphobes, destroy their careers and have them socially ostracised, discussions cannot be had, progress cannot be made and democracy ceases to function. And chief amongst the things that cannot be discussed, the dogma of equality and diversity. Across the West, in every workplace, we've spent a decade giving people jobs based on their gender or ethnicity rather than on merit. And in so doing, we've created ubiquitous professional incompetence across all industries. And now we find ourselves in a severe economic downturn, a cost of living crisis that we're allowed to blame on everything other than the root cause. Workplaces up and down the country, structured and ruled by divisive, erroneous ideological poison.